Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of the Smalls RV Adventures. We arrived at our campground. We're hanging out. We're chilling. We're having so much fun. As the kids finish off with their school, they're on a four-day swing where they're on break. I'm on vacation, so we're just going to have some fun. I have this new battery pack in the tow vehicle, and I want you guys to see us deplete the battery. We're going to attempt to deplete the battery on this episode of the Smalls RV Adventures. They in a hurry to get back to the campground, well, to our campsite, so that we can attempt to deplete the battery at our site. I left some things home for the kitchen, the kitchen in the back of the tow vehicle, and I wanted to try some of those things out. Good thing about being out here and the outback is that you can use almost anything. All I need is like a piece of wood and I can cook in the back of the truck. So that's gonna be cool if I can find a piece of wood. And another thing, there was someone leaving when I got to the campground and they were so kind to give me some leveling blocks. One of their blocks was destroyed and the guy didn't want it. So he blessed me with the whole set of blocks. Kids are making the rounds all the way across, way ahead of me. turned the car around so that we can hook up this gaming center for the kids to see if we can deplete this battery. Again, let me give you guys a close-up look at the battery. Again, I'm giving you guys the one eye because the sun is right above me here. Excuse the mess while we camp, but this is the off-grid setup that we have in the car. Again, this is like a better look at the whole system. We have it charging by solar but we're gonna try to deplete the batteries. We have two consoles set up. We have the Nintendo Switch and a PlayStation 4 hooked up to a games device HDMI TV. It is a DC TV, so it doesn't pull that much power. Too lazy to pull out the other television. All right, here's the look from the backside. I mean, this campsite is huge. I backed the truck back into the campsite just to get some play time for the kids with the off-grid system. Looks pretty small, but I guarantee you we have a big battery bank in the back there. You remember the blocks we talked about? These are them here. I'm gonna use these when we go overlanding. Can level out the truck. The sun is beaming out here. It's warm under the sun, but it's still cold out here. But let's see where the battery is at. Inverter, it says 12.1 volts. On a charge controller, it says 12.4. So it's just a matter of a difference of 0.4. Here's something you don't see every day. There's a zinger right there and another zinger right there. That's pretty cool. Two of the same campers. The one on the left looked like it had some modifications done to the top, but it's two of them. Same exact models, pretty cool. Battery bank is still holding strong. Let's go check it out and see what the levels are now. As the kids multitask, playing with their toys, watching Bluey on the screen. Let's go look at the battery level. All right, we still have a lot of power there. Still pulling 108 volts. 12.2 on a solar charge controller. You can't see it because of the sun glare, but it's pretty cool. This here is at 100%. This charge just by solar. But I want to see how much I can use with this one that I built with the battery bank inside of here. Still going on. It's been over an hour. This is at 41%. This was totally dead. So we have 41% on the Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty awesome. Chris, what you watching? Bluey? Melanie, what you doing? You like your Barbie? 
What's all the television, Melanie? Bluey. You like Bluey? Yeah. Oh, how many toys you have up there? It's counting them. Is that a root? What is that? Christmas. What happened to your tooth? Oh my god, a tooth fell out. Fall out? Let me see. Let me see your teeth. She got the big wide open. See something really cool? Look at the bike rack on the top of this trail. Well, it's not on the top, it's like on the bottom of it. You see that bike rack there? That is pretty cool. And my bed is doing this without help. There's no one guiding him. That's pretty awesome. Get Mac there. Okay, give it to him. He's so nice. Get eat out of a baby's hands. They want to take turns giving it to him. Here, you want to give him one? Go ahead. There's one more. the best life of them all the pup he gets plenty of rubs from about eight hands rubbing them all over he's in heaven oh he just gave up <laughs> it's one of the two but i don't think he gave up because he could just get up if he wanted to still out here waiting for the power to deplete and it still hasn't depleted i'm sitting here relaxing in my chair kids over there they're still playing well they're on the ground now playing with the nintendo switch everything is plugged in a playstation the tv nintendo switch your cell phone i'm trying to deplete this battery it won't die as long as the sun is in the sky but the sun is going down not only has the sun going down the temperature is dropping as you can see i have my sweater back on from in the beginning of the video but it is freezing now not too much freezing i still have on my shorts but it is getting cold. I just had my hood on, but I took the hood off to make the video, but I'm thinking about putting it back on because that's how cold it is. Grayson, what is that? Uh, what's the reading at? What's the battery reading at? Is that 11.9? So that means it's going down. What's the bottom number? <laughs> Got my boy over here telling me everything. Yeah, it has the V. So the volts is 108 and the battery is at 11.9. The sun is going down. So I don't know what it takes for the battery to die. I don't understand it. I thought when it went below 12 point something, the battery was dead. But this battery just continues to go. I don't know. But maybe the solar charge controller is saying something else. But I'll check that now. Double check what Grayson just told us. The battery on the... 1500 watt inverter says 11.9 and we're running at 108 volts off the AC connection but the solar charge controller runs a little higher it's saying 12.1 fluctuating between 12.1 and 12.2 so that's not bad it's still going strong the kids over there playing watch YouTube playing video games and the battery is still pulling it's amazing we just still want to see how much can it actually pull. I'm going to stay here with you guys until the battery totally depletes. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm hoping that it doesn't take too long because if it still keeps going when the sun goes down and it gets cold, I'm going inside. And then we'll continue the, the test tomorrow. But the battery still looks like it's a little topped off. It doesn't even look like it's halfway down yet. And again, it's only 100 amp hour that I'm using but it, it's attached to the solar. So that may be a reason why it's not going straight down. Grayson, what's that battery? Because the sun is going down and it's gonna get cold. 11.9. You think it's ever gonna get depleted? I think it's gonna stay on for ages. It's gonna stay on for ages? Yes. I think the thing is that three bars there is still not dying. 
We have all these things connected. It's not much, but this is the basis of what I have connected when I'm off grid or the kids are off grid just to keep them entertained. And as you can see, it's still lasting nearly two, three hours, four hours, even more. Battery's not even halfway depleted. Okay, we're gonna end this test about now because I don't think this battery is gonna get depleted. The sun will go down and then once the sun goes down, I know how many watt hours it is and how many watt hours we're taking from the battery, how many we, the output watts and there's not gonna be enough. I'll be here until four o'clock in the morning and it's only 100 amp hours that we're using with the 100 watt solar panel and we're not using nearly close to 100 watts with the power we're utilizing. So if you add more amp hours and batteries and more solar, you have unlimited power usage combined with the DC to DC charger. This thing is like unlimited power out here. Once I disconnected everything, the power went back up. Oh man, this thing was never gonna die. That was us testing out our off-grid system. Of course, we're gonna expand on it. The amp hours we have it's not enough we want to build up on it but i just wanted to see how well it worked and it worked beyond my expectations so i'm happy to say that we're gonna build on it so stay tuned for that if you like these videos hit that like button build your own off-grid system comment below let me know what you have whether it's Renergy for the dc to dc chargers your solar charge controllers your solar panels anything that you have comment below i'd love to hear about it I think I'm gonna dabble with Victron next. I did the Renergy. A lot of people are telling me about Victron, so I wanna try out Victron. If you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. What you gotta say about that, buddy? Um, remember to like and subscribe. You said remember to like and subscribe. Also, put button in the game.